everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Marion today's video I'm showing you what I picked up for the Sephora savings event um, it started on April 14th if you are Rouge then you have access to shop early and then the VIB and Beauty Insider will have access starting April 18th but I just wanted to show you guys everything that I picked up um, a lot of these items were not on my wish list so if you haven't seen that video my shop with me video i will link it somewhere up here so you can definitely check that one out in case you need any additional recommendations to take advantage of the sale because it does end april 24th before i jump into this video don't forget to subscribe give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and hit the notification bell and without further ado Let's hop right into it. So actually, I had two pickup orders because um, I had gift cards. So I just went back and purchased items that I wanted. And there were some items that I wanted, but evidently I didn't buy them. So we're just gonna go buy what what's in the bag. First things first is the Sephora Favorites Clean Me Up Kit. So all of Sephora collection brand items are 30% for any tier. And it comes with a full size mascara for Tower 28, a necessary body lotion, a mini size of the Gwen Stefani lipstick, flawless, no, sorry, Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Gloss, and then Glow Recipe Plump Hyaluronic Cream. And then there's a, fragr a fragrance from Fleur Missing Person. I'm just gonna open it real quick. So this kit is all clean beauty brands and this pouch is compostable, so that is a good thing. So this is what the mascara looks like. The wand is like a perfect wand for me. So this is a travel size necessary body lotion, which is cool because I will be traveling in a couple of weeks. And then this is the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Gloss. Guess I can take that with me as well. And then this is a fragrance. Let me, mm, I don't know about this fragrance. Let me see here. Okay, this isn't bad. This isn't bad at all. Maybe what I take on my trip as well. Who knows? This is like a travel size or mini size, trial size, glow recipe, plump, 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 hyaluronic cream. And I think I have the full size one, so um, definitely can go with me on my trip. Then a small Gwen Stefani stomp box lipstick. Um, this is like another little mauve color. And then last but not least is a full size um, lip and cheek cream in Delphine or Delphine by Rose Ink. And is this supposed to look like this? I don't know. I don't know if you can see the little bubbles or whatever. If you have this, if it's supposed to look like this, then please let me know. Because I'm a little afraid. You know, just take another look and see if you see what I see. Okay, I'm going to move right along to the other items and make this pretty quick. Urban Decay 24-7 inks. This is the new um, eyeliner in Zero. And honestly, what made me purchase this? What is the shape? The shape is supposed to be ergonomics, like a pen. So it's supposed to help grip for those who, you know, may have mobility issues. So I thought that was amazing. And then this is what the tip looks like. So it reminds me of like a calligraphy pen. And that's why I got it. Also two eye patches from Peter Ross, Peter Thomas Ross. Can you talk, Mary? Clinical skin. I have the cucumber detox. 
And then I have the Potency Power Brightening Hydra Gel Eye Patches. And right now I'm kind of big on making sure my under eye is hydrated and kind of do something about these puffy eyes that I tend to have, especially in the morning time. So I wanted to try these out. These were $5 a piece with my 20% off. So it came out to be $4. And so the Urban Decay eye pencil is, oh my goodness, $26. And I, with my discount, it went down to $20.80. So, this stuff wasn't cheap. Then I got, yep, something for my lip. Another lip mask. And this is the Tatcha, the Kisu Lip Mask, uh, Japanese Peach Lip Jelly. I have been wanting this for quite some time. But I said, nope. I'm going to wait until the sale. It's just so, so, so bougie. And it smells just like all of Tatcha products. It comes with the little spatula as usual. And yeah, I just had to have it. Continuing with skincare, two items from Pharmacy. I have the Pharmacy Wake Up Honey Eye Cream. I told you I'm starting to be real, you know, big on my under eyes. So this is the brightening vitamin C cream that I wanted to try out. And then this is the Pharmacy Brighten Up. 3% TXA. I don't even know what that is. Dark spot toner. I got this because it has azelaic acid in it and PHA. So this is like a lotion tonic. It's free of parabens, formaldehyde, synthetic fragrance, phthalates. It's mineral oil free and cruelty free. So I pulled the items out of the box so you can see exactly what they look like in the wake up honey eye cream is like the shape of you know like a honeycomb which is so cute and then this here is what the um toner looks like this is glass this is also glass so you definitely have to be careful and don't be a klutz like me next up is beauty blender bestie bronze and it comes with the sponge a cleanser a little scrub thing and a case I really want this for the case, especially for traveling and stuff like that, um, to store the beauty blender in. And I really like the, the nude color uh, sponges versus the pink ones. And I don't know, that's just a personal preference. Now my goal was to get more Sephora collection products because they're 30% off, but a lot of the items I already have and I just felt like it wasn't necessary for me to buy more when I still have extras and so I did pick up a matte perfect blush duo but I think it's broke you can see the powder and then when I move it so I'm going to have to take this one back and exchange it um, I wish I could open it but I just have a feeling that when I do it's gonna be a disaster also picked up the new Fenty mascara hella thick voluminizing mascara I don't know what is going to do to my particular lashes because you don't already know I just wanted it and it's called cuz I'm black that is the shade cuz I'm black and I heard good reviews about this mascara online love the packaging really really love the packaging and the wand is big but it's not overwhelming for me and then down to my last two items I have LIS this is the glossy lip treatment oil speak love and this was kind of like an impulse buy this is what it looks like um, you know it reminds me of their standard packaging similar to like the concealer and everything and then I like the part right here that squeezes out it's a nice size so yeah cool last item is not a new product it's from rare beauty I have the warm wishes effortless bronzer stick I've been wanting to try this for a very very long time since they came out and I was like, mm, should I, should I, shouldn't I, should I? 
it was between this one and the makeup by mario one so i decided to go with this one because this was a little bit cheaper and i think i got the right shade yeah i think i can work with this so those were all the items that i got during the sale i don't know if that's gonna be the last but for now this is everything that i picked up if you enjoyed this video if you have any of these products, if you plan to purchase any of these products, leave a comment down below and let me know. Give this video a big thumbs up if I haven't said it already. Hit the notification bell. And as always, thank you for watching. I'm going back.